I want to be the best there ever was to beat all the rest. Yeah, that's my cause. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three Pokemon Go team DIYs. Whether you are a team Mystic, Instinct, or Valor, you can adapt these creations to your own team. Since I am on Team Valor, I made these DIYs to suit my own team. For the first DIY, you are going to need a plain baseball cap, iron-on letters, and an iron. I got the baseball cap and iron-on letters at Michael's Crafts for under $10. I first peeled the iron-on letters off the sheet and placed them the way I wanted on the hat. Once I was happy with the spacing, I started with the middle letter and worked outward. I used part of an old t-shirt to iron over in order to make sure the letters were not damaged by the iron. I held the iron for 20 to 30 seconds per letter. You may need to go over the letters again until all corners are adequately sealed to the hat. This DIY is pretty easy and a wonderful craft to do with your friends. When you're out taking gyms, it's also an awesome way to make new friends on your team. For our next DIY, we are going to be making this easy team bracelet. You will need cotton cord, letter beads of your choice, crimps, a clasp, two jump rings, and pliers. I measured the cotton cord around my wrist and cut it to the desired length. Next, I found the letters I needed for my bracelet. Taking one of the crimp connectors, I secured it to the end of my bracelet so the beads would not fall off when I threaded them. I secured the clasp to the jump ring and the crimp connector as well. I proceeded to thread the letter beads onto the cotton cord. After all the beads were threaded on, I secured the other crimp connector to the other end of the cord. Opening the second jump ring, I also secured it to this crimp connector as well. These bracelets can make an awesome gift for your friends and fellow teammates that you meet in your adventures. This last DIY is a versatile team pendant. I made mine into pins, bracelet connectors, and a necklace, but other ideas include fridge magnets and tokens to give to friends. For this DIY, you're going to need a paintbrush, Mod Podge, gemstones, team emblems the size of your gemstones, and scissors. The tedious task comes first. Cut out your team emblems, but don't worry too much about making them perfect as the gemstone will help hide any imperfect edges. Taking the paintbrush in the homemade or store-bought Mod Podge you chose, lightly cover the back of the gemstone and place the cut emblem face first onto the back of the gemstone. Paint on another layer of Mod Podge to secure the edges of the emblem and then set it aside to dry. I proceeded to cut and glue the entire sheet's worth of emblems onto my gemstones but you don't have to make that many if you don't want to. I let them dry overnight before glue gunning any pins or wire to the back of my pendants. I twisted wire to make two loops to make a bracelet connector, and into one loop to make a necklace pendant. I also glued safety pins onto some to make pins for my backpack. I attached thin black cotton cord to the pendants to finish my bracelet and necklace, and I really liked how they turned out. I really hope you like these team DIYs. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below. 
best wishes on your Pokemon Go adventures. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!